Hello, welcome to the Craft House Magic Setter Tutorials. My name's Ellie and today I'm going to show you how I cut in a heel in my tube sock. So this is a set of tutorials where I'm creating four socks from one big long sock tube. Um, so this is part two where I'm going to add the heel. So I've just marked here where I'm going to add my heel for this sock. But in order to calculate that, I normally take my foot measurement and take two inches away. So it's roughly seven and a half inches to this point here. But I just wanted to round it off to where the stripes change on my sock yarn. So that's why I've put uh, my marker there. So my foot is nine and a half inches long and then minus two inches, seven and a half inches. Now it works out about seven and a quarter inches here, but a quarter of an inch isn't going to make a lot of difference and I want mine to cut in just where the stripe changes. So I'm going to remove my marker and carefully get my scissors and I'm going to snip one thread of yarn in the centre of this panel. I've made sure that my sock is flat where the toe is so that I'm cutting in the heel um, in the right position. So I've just cut that piece of yarn there and I'm going to carefully take this needle and undo the stitches right to each of the edges. So I'm going up in this direction first there we are so that's half of it done and I'm going to pick it down to right to this edge so that I've got the whole heel area ready to pick up stitches So there we are. This is a 60 stitch sock. So the aim is to pick up 30 stitches on this side and 30 stitches on that side. So if I haven't undone the opening enough, I can always just unpick it with the um, with the needle. So I'm just going to get the same size needle that I'd knitted the sock with and I'm going to pick up these stitches around the edge. So I've picked up stitches on the one side and I've just made sure that there's half the stitch count for the sock and there's 30. So I'm going to continue picking up stitches around the other side now. I've now picked up 30 stitches on this side and 30 stitches on that side and you can see there's a gap on either side with a strand of yarn hanging this side and this side. So I'm going to engage this needle and start knitting across the work um, with the contrast yarn. So I've knitted across the work, now I want to pick up some stitches on this side and I'm just holding on to the end so that I know that that is what the tension is going to be like when the ends are sewn in. So I'm going to try and pick up some stitches along here so that there isn't any holes produced. It looks like there's a bit of a hole in the middle there, but once I've pulled that end tightly in, that should be fine. I've actually picked up four stitches on this side, so I'll do the same for the other side once I get to it. So I'm going to switch 
to this side of the work and just knit across. Now I've knitted across the work, I'm back at the beginning and I need to pick up four stitches along this side. Again, I'm going to hold those ends to keep the tension in the stitches. So it doesn't matter exactly where you pick up the stitches as long as there isn't a hole produced underneath once you've lifted that stitch up. So I'm now going to put a marker here for the beginning of the round and I'm going to knit two rounds. So there we are, I've knitted two rounds. Um, if you remember I picked up stitches four stitches here and four stitches here so I'm going to transfer two stitches from this needle to the back needle and from this needle to the front needle. So I've transferred the stitches so those four extra ones we cast on on each side are split equally between the front and the back needles. Um, the last two stitches I knitted on the last row, I basically just undid them so that they're at the start of the new round. So now we need to create our heel shape. And it's basically the same as the toe. So I'm going to use the same instructions as we used for the toe. And I'm going to engage this front first needle. And I'm going to knit one. And then I'm going to do an SSK and then knit to three stitches of the end of this needle and then I'm going to do knit two together and knit one. I turn the work and then I'm going to do exactly the same on this side knit one SSK knit to three stitches before the end of the needle knit two together, knit one. So that's your decrease round and then you're going to do one plain knit and then you're going to be repeating these two rounds until you get 12 stitches on each needle. So I've repeated those last two rows until I've got 12 stitches on each needle. Um, you could reduce down further if you like, if you wanted a pointier heel, um, but I like to do 12 stitches on each needle. I now need to kitchen a stitch those together. So I'm going to cut my yarn, thread it on a needle, and I'm going to do the kitchen a stitch. So um, I'll just show you briefly how I do this. So I go knit wise through the front stitch, drop that off, purl wise through the next stitch, purl wise through the back, drop that off, knit wise through the next stitch. And I repeat those four actions all the way across until I've cast off all those stitches. I have a more detailed video on this on my simple top down sock video which I'll leave a link for down in the down bar. So I've kitchened those end stitches together and I'm going to run the needle to the inside of the work. Pull that nice and neat and then I'm going to turn the inside out so I've got access to the inside of the heel. Let's sew these ends in. So I'll just briefly show you how I sew my ends in. So I'm trying to duplicate stitch of the inside of the sock so that your end is sewn in so that it'll still stretch. And I do normally about four or five of these. There you are, so that's enough. I'll trim the yarn. There we go. So I'll sew the other in ends in the same way. So you'll have two on this side and one on this side to sew in. But once you've done that, you'll have a finished sock. 
So there we are, we have a finished sock with a heel. So you'll just need to add heels to the other socks that you've been working on from your sock tube and then you'll have two pairs in total. So one tip I have is that if you have a high instep you might want to increase stitches um, either side of the heel just before you start doing the decreases so that it just gives you a little bit more room. Um, but I find that this fits okay so do try this method first and then adjust your stitches accordingly. I do have a video on how to knit socks that fit and I'll leave a link to that video in the down bar. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.